Morning YouTube, Grim here. Today we're going to have a fire lighting session. So we're going to cover different types of fire lighting. We're also going to do a review of a ghillie kettle as well. So the fire lighting techniques we're going to do, we're going to do three. Very easy, easy, and one that I find a bit more difficult. The easy one, we're going to try some more of the fire dragon gel and a lighter. We're going to use a ferro rod and a homemade fire disc. I'll explain this later. Then we're going to use some char cloth, some flint and steel, and this here. And again, I'll explain that later to you. But first of all, we're going to have a look at the ghillie kettle. So, ghillie kettle comes in a bag like this. comprises of two parts. Base part here is your fire base. This is where you build your fire into it. This part here is what you put your water in. As you can see, hollow, but it's a double walled construction. So you'd fill this with your water, pop your whistling lid onto it, build your fire into here, that then pops onto there, and that boils away. Let's have a look at some fire lighting techniques now. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is the fire dragon gel. Uh, you might have seen this on one of my other videos. I've not used it in the field yet. Uh, we only burned it that one time on the other video. So we're going to try it today with just a simple jet lighter. Okay, let's come on down and have a look. Okay, so it comes with a squirt nozzle on it. So you just apply it to the area you're wanting to ignite. Don't need to use too much of it. Simple turbo lighter. And that's it away. You probably can't see the flames too well, but trust me, they are going. There you go. And that's something you can probably use in most weather, so high winds, really wet wood, wet conditions, that's something that's going to take a spark or a flame very, very easily. And that's just bubbling away nicely there. We'll just leave that burning away just slightly. Okay, so this time we're going to look at a ferro rod and a fire disc. So the fire disc is something I make myself and we'll cover that in a later video how I do it. But quite simply, it's a cotton wool disc. I might melt some candle wax and some Vaseline in a pot and very quickly dip it in and light it to dry out. The benefits of doing that is it's not greasy, it's not tacky. It's waterproof. You rip it open, you've still got the fluffiness of the cotton wool inside, and that's something that takes a spark really well. And with the Vaseline and the, the wax that's on it, it tends to burn slightly longer. So that's the candle disc. The ferro rod, I'm sure you've all seen one of these. Quite simply, put it on a sharp edge, gives you a shower of sparks. And we're gonna use that to light the disc. So we'll bring you in closer again, and we'll see how this works. So the disc itself, simply tear it, and what you're looking for, I'll just bring this up to the camera here, all the fluffiness you see on here is what you're looking to take the spark. So we'll put that down there. Got the ferro rod. And that's it away. Simple as that. And it's just went out again. We'll try this again. I'm going to open up just a bit more to get a bit more fluffiness in it. Mm. 
just goes to show you that things don't always work right first time. Now it's going just nicely there. And once you've got that going, you can then start to build up your fire. So you use this as your initial fire starter. And as you can see, if you ever compare it to normal cotton wool, normal cotton wool burns very quickly. This, with the combination of the wax and the Vaseline on it, does take quite a bit longer to burn. So it gives you a, a much better base for starting your fire with. So that's your fire disc and your ferro rod. Okay, before we go on to the next one, we'll just finish off filling and prepping the ghillie kettle. So, what we've got, as I say, you've got the whistling lid here. Because it's double walled, we're going to fill this with water. You don't want to overfill it, you don't want it bubbling over. Whistle goes back onto it, and once we've got the fire going in the fire bowl, this sits on top, and we just leave that boiling away and feeding the fire. So we'll come back to that in just a second. So, the next fire we're going to do, or fire starter we're going to do, is the flint and steel with a bit of char cloth. And also this here. This was something I pinched off another YouTuber. It's actually a liner for a hanging basket. You'll pick these up in any DIY store or any garden centre. Made of 100% natural fibres. So this is what we're going to make our bird's nest with. And quite simply just tease. The fibres apart. Bit of a bird's nest there, I'll put this to one side for now. Then got a bit of flint and a fire steel here, and quite simply, striking that generates a lot of sparks, but we need something to take that spark first of all. So, we're going to use some char cloth, and again, in a later video, I'll show you how to actually make some char cloth. So, take the char cloth, place it just on top of the flint, and the whole point is to try and get a spark to land on this char cloth, and this char cloth holds the spark really well. So we'll give it a try, bear with me on this. Okay, that's actually taken. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to put it into the bird's nest. There's no rush to do this part. Close it around. And then just blow. No rush in doing this part. Almost there. And there we go. So we'll move this into the ghillie kettle. And we'll try and get this fire going here. You need to bear with us because the wood is really, really wet today. And quite a lot of rain overnight. So we'll just leave that to catch and we'll come back to that just shortly. So 
So that's the fire starting to establish itself. Pretty much going there. All we do now is the gilly kettle itself fits on top of this base here. And you almost get a rocket effect coming up there. We then leave that to boil away. If you do need to add more wood to keep the fire going, all you do is drop it through the top there. And that feeds the fire. Not had this bit of kit long, but I must say I'm really impressed with it. Not a lot can go wrong with it. It's fairly bomb proof, very simple to use, and a nice way to get a cup of tea. fire in there fairly well fueled that should burn away, burn away nicely um, you know when it's ready because that starts to whistle away the hole in the base as well try and keep that towards the wind direction because again that fans the flames just gets it that bit hotter as well so I'm going to leave this to boil away once that's ready I'm going to have a well deserved cup of tea Thanks for joining us here, YouTubes, and as always, I look forward to any comments, suggestions or ideas. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers, YouTube.